a little girl she shot in her eye and he say oh quick quick uh, they are they need help yeah and Muhammad can you drive for us I said yes on today's hot zone you're gonna get the uncut interview from a war hero who was shot six times saving a family from Isis coming up on the hot zone this is the hot zone Engaging with the news in a whole new way, international war correspondent Chuck Holton brings insight into areas of crisis and lets you help those affected. Hey folks, what's the picture of humility look like to you? Well, I'm about to show you this interview and I'm gonna just let it run. I'm gonna show it to you uncut because this is my good friend, Muhammad. I just spent some time with him in Syria, and when you actually get this guy to tell you his story, it will blow your mind. Don't miss a minute of it. Here it is, 100% uncut. Watch this. I want you to say your name and um, how old you are. My name is Mohammed. I'm an Iraqi soldier. I was an Iraqi soldier, for, but now I work with the Free Burma Ranger. Uh -huh. How old are you? With David. Uh, I'm 31. Okay. Tell me what happened when you were in Mosul. Yeah, uh, they are big fight, and I don't see like this American people, this amazing people, like an angels. Yeah, and when I see him first time in the Mosul, and I see, wow, what the, what they do, the people here, American people here, this is like hell. What they do here. Yeah, car bomb, snipers, murder, yeah, like here, exactly. And I asked Dave, what do you do here? Before I cannot speak English, but I speak with her, uh, with his uh, interpreter. And I told him, tell him that, tell him that, and he speak. And then he say, because I'm here, you are a good guy, and I am here for you, for to help you, and the other guys like you uh, for, you are good people and I'm here to help. I, I said, please stay here and I, I want to go to America. America uh, like heaven, nice place, city place. I'm tired, I'm 12 years, I, I work with Iraqi army and war, always war. I want to go to America, can you help me? <laughs> yes, and then after that I see him, I see his mercy and I see the, there is uh, mercy and I say wow I don't believe that and I tell him someday I tell him please and I all the time I go with him and my general he say why you follow this this is stupid American old man he's stupid he will kill you don't follow him don't listen to him don't know you know he he left his country, safe country, and good life they had, and he came to help us. I will, I, I will be die before him. He say, "Ah, oh, you are stupid too. Go, my general." Yes, and all the time, uh, I was ten day in my ha home and ten days with Iraqi army, and some days I I work with them, and some days I go to my home, but. All the time I follow David. I told him, please, can I work with you? I, I want to leave Iraqi army. He say, look, I don't have power. I don't have money. I'm like a little mouse. Yeah, um, I'm not strong. Look, my, our job, very difficult. We work in Burma, just walk, no car, no food. No. I told him, yes, I, okay, I am agree. I, I want to work with you. I will be die with you. And he say, uh, okay, leave this to God. David, he say that, up to God, leave this. Can I pray for you? I said, yes, and he pray for me. And yeah, someday, and I love, I told you, I, see, I, I will see again, I love his mercy. He cry with the people. He helped the mm -hmm. children, old 
women, old men. He survived the uh, so tell me about people's Shaheen. lives. Yeah, Shaheen, he's a Yazidi guy. He's a Yazidi guy. He was an uh, interpreter with FBR. And someday, uh, someday, we liberated uh, the place they call Hawil Kanisa in Mosul, in old city. And then uh, we try, Dave, he say, uh, in that time, I'm not a uh, driver with them, with the free bar manager. Yeah, they, my general give him Hamvi and they have driver or anything. But we stop together, the Hamvi's bark, and we eat. We try to eat some food and we see the, the civilians, they run away from us. And David, he look and he see little, uh, little girl, she shot in her eye. And he say, oh, quick, quick, uh, they, are, they need help. Yeah, and Muhammad, can you drive for us? I said, yes, I can. And I took it, uh, there's Humvee, and I drive and, and uh, they care the little girl and and David he care her father and and he between his hand and I just shot him again the to father? yeah to her father and yeah everyone busy the blood everywhere and like nine person in the Hambi inside the Hambi and the hot and dust and big war yeah big fight and then uh, I try to go to take them and the ISIS s sniper they still shot and the engine uh, Humvee engine broken and doesn't go up and oh my gosh what I do and I look the blood and this little girl she's screaming and yeah and then I David he say let me I, I want to try drive and I go to yeah he switch and he try and doesn't go the Humvee and I told him I will bring my Humvee because I left my Humvee and I drive FBR Humvee and he say no 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 don't go and he catch me like this and I run away and ISIS he uh, sniper he shot he shoot still shoot and I I run zigzag and I bring my Humvee and my friend, they say, are you crazy? Where are you going? You, they will kill you. I doesn't listen to, I don't, I want to help these people. Yeah. And then I took it my Humvee and then I park it my Humvee. I leave it like one meter between the Humvee because ISIS, they was shoot us this time. When I come, the ISIS, they, they take many, place not not just one place they shoot from many direction and then I uh, opened the door and Shaheen he first one and I try to tell him yeah 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 move move to my Humvee and first one Shaheen he is next to me like less than one meter and in his bag and his stomach go outside and he screaming ah please help me and and i try to help him i am um, yeah i try to put him in the humvee and i just he shot me in my arm yeah and uh, and my this last one and two in my chest and one uh yeah in my shoulder one in my leg one here and yeah, and I don't stop. And last one, this in my neck, I make surgery. Mm -hmm. This uh, Victor, he pay for my surgery, Victor Max. Mm -hmm. And then I don't leave him and I put it in my hand here, blood everywhere. And I and I'm took it, uh, I'm took it him to the CCB, American CCB also, uh, FBR team, sorry, FBR team and they take us to the CCB, Iraqi army, and they the, took us to the Baghdad. Clinic, the medical. Yeah, yeah, medical. Yeah. You call CCB? 
CCP. CCP, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Casualty collection point. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but you were still shot and you were driving or? Yeah, and I, I driving. With your, how did, with your I, I put it my, my, this is my hand here and I drive in this hand. I feel it's very weak, but I say I don't be die here. I'm not I, going to die here. I, I'm not going to die. Yeah, sorry, my English is not good. Okay. Thank you for help. And I keep going and yeah, and thank God. So when it was over, how many times you had surgery? One month. No, how many times did you have to have surgery? Just once? Just for your neck? Yeah, just one. No more surgery for your no, arms? No, or your... no, just for my neck. What about the other bullets? Yeah, this throw my arm. Oh, it went out? Yeah, out. Went through? Out, all out. Everything went through? Yeah. Except for the one in your neck? Yeah. And tell me about the one in your neck. Yeah, like uh, this, this my neck, like hella point bullet mm -hmm. and become three inside and one very close from the your, your spinal column. Yes, and the doctor he told me this j just one milli. Uh, you or you become disabled, mm -hmm. or you be die. You are very lucky. You are like cat. You had nine, nine lives. So go. You don't be die. Don't, when, don't worry. When you met David, were you uh, Muslim? Yeah, I, I was Muslim. So tell me about how you became Christian. Uh, all the time, I, Dave, he pray and I listen to him and I see his mercy and I say, oh my gosh, I love these people. And when I see his family, little girls and little son, he had two girls and one son and his wife and the people they came with him, like Burmese guys and American guys. And I, I don't believe we have in this world like, like these people. This is not normal human, not normal uh, people. This is angels. Yeah, yeah, I'm serious, I, I, I see that. Yeah, and I say, I, I will follow these people. This is right, people. So I, I see that the Muslim people from Muslim countries, they rich like Saudi Arabia, like Dubai, like oh, many, many. I, I couldn't remember. But they don't come to hell. They don't do anything. And I see these simple people, they came here and they help. Oh, I, I don't believe. And I, I say, I told myself, Myself, I will follow this man. So, uh, tell me about your baptism. Yes, I, I do baptism in uh, Tigers River last uh, winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, your family, what do they think? They, they don't see and they say, yeah, you, you choose as you like. Where's the right side you, you see? Go. And your family, uh, your wife, and your yeah, yeah, everyone. How does uh, is your wife become a Christian? No, she is good. She's uh, she's believe and she's like Jesus, but she not become Christian. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. Well, you show her the same love and mercy. That yeah, yeah. I, I speak with her all the time, and she came with me to the church many times, and she good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She'll get there. Yeah. Like I say, you, you saw the mercy and you wanted to have that. Yeah. So you show that mercy to your wife and yes. she wants to have that. Yes. She will want that. Too. Yes. That's good. Um, what do you hope for Iraq? I mean, you see the, the mess that Iraq has become. What do you hope will become of Iraq? Uh, my hope, not just for Iraq, for all the world. For any people. Yeah. I hope the mercy, I hope the peace, I hope love. This is my hope. So I don't care about my country and I just, I think about my, I, I think about all the people in on the world. Mm -hmm. And I hope 
my password work everywhere I can I go to help I hope that but what I do my password doesn't work. Your, your passport my passport doesn't work some country they don't allow I go when I look to the uh, to the TV to the news and I see that people need help I, I see oh gosh I, I hope I want to go to help these people but I can't yeah I pay for visa from I, I use my money and I go just to help yeah so you went to everything changed my my heart my mind I'm like a new person before I'm nothing tell me, tell me that again yeah now I'm a new person. I feel I'm light. I'm. I want to help. Yeah, I'm not like before. The Hot Zone is produced by Amy Holton and Live Fire Media. Copyright 2019.